I think DNA is, as an information storage medium, has what we've developed beat hands down. So you can pack the three billion plus base pairs of DNA in the human genome, wrapping them up as we find them in real cells into something that's so small you need a microscope to see it. Yet there is an enormous amount of information in that tiny space. Mm. That's information storage. Yeah. yeah. I've heard that DNA information and all that's contained there um, would fill volumes and volumes of, of books yes. in terms of the, the lines of code, maybe millions of lines of code. When we developed the system for Shine Mountain, it was about a total of 40,000 lines. It took us a year wow. with, a, with a very sharp crack team. <laughs> and most of our work was done to try to make sure that there was no errors in it. Right. Because an error in software you develop is disastrous. Yeah. But here we're talking about the information in a cell that is so good and so refined that it does amazing things. It does amazing things. And the fascinating thing about all cells that we know is that they too have error correction mechanisms. They want to maintain high fidelity transfer of information. So there's error checking there as well. The same rules of information transfer, namely minimize noise, maintain your signal fidelity, present in these codes, present in living things. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Awesome.